there are two terms associated with a series. One is divergent and another one is conversion. Now, what do you mean by these terms? Suppose we have the series A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus A4 plus etc. Whatever kind of series it may be. We know that this is an infinite series. If this infinite series has a sum which is finite, that means if the sum of all the infinite terms in the series is finite, then we say that it is convergent. And if the sum of all these terms is infinity, then we call it as a divergent series. For example, consider the series generated by the sequence 10, 100, 1000, 10,000, lakh and so on. So if we write this as a series, then it is, now when you look at the terms of this series, you can see that the terms is increasing. That means 10, 100, 1000, 10,000, then it will be 1 lakh, then it will be 10 lakh, then it will be 1 crore like that. So some big numbers are coming immediately after the, uh, after the fourth or fifth terms. So when you sum these numbers, all the numbers will be very, 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 very huge. So we can say that the sum is almost infinity. That means you cannot say that the sum is a finite number. So this is an example of a series which is divergent. Now consider the series 1 by 10 plus 1 by 100 plus 1 by 1000 plus 1 by 10,000 plus etc. Now if you look at the terms of the series carefully, you can see that the first term 1 by 10 is uh, 0 0.1. The next term 1 by 100 is 0 0.01. The next term is 1 by 1000, which is 0 0.001. The next term is 1 by 10,000, which is 0 0.0001. If you observe the terms carefully, you can see that these terms are moving very close to 0. So when you sum up these terms, 0 0.1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, etc. All the terms here will be 1. And this, this is a finite number. So, this is an example of a series which is convergent. So, an infinite series either converges or is convergent, as in the second example, or it diverges or it is divergent as in the case of the first example. So here we will see the conditions for a geometric series to be convergent and divergent. Suppose you are given a series A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus A4 plus etc. We define S1 to be A1, S2 as A1 plus A2, S3 as A1 plus A2 plus A3, S4 as so you can see that S1 is the first term A1, S2 is the sum of the first two terms A1 plus A2, S3 is the sum of the first three terms A1 plus A2 plus A3. S4 is the sum of the first four terms, A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus A4. So if you continue in this way, Sn is the sum of the first n terms. A1 plus A2 plus etc plus An. Now we get a sequence here. 
sequence S1, S2, S3, etc. This sequence is called the sequence of partial sums of the series A1, A2, A3, A4, etc. Sequence of partial sums. Suppose we have the infinite geometric series A plus AR plus AR square plus AR cube plus etc. Then we know that Sn is equal to A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus etc. plus An. Now if you substitute the values of A1, A2, A3 etc. An in case of the given geometric series, we will get Sn is equal to A1 is A, A2 is A1R, A3 is a r square plus etc plus a n is a r raised to n minus 1 for the geometric series a plus a r plus a r square plus etc. Multiply all the terms of s n, all the terms here with r. If you multiply s n with r, you will get r s n is equal to a multiplied with r, you will get a r plus a r multiplied with r, you will get a r square plus a r square multiplied with r, you will get a r cube plus etc plus the last term a r raised to n minus 1 multiplied with r, I will get uh, a r raised to n minus 1, then one more r will give you r raised to n. The term just before that is a r raised to n minus 1 a r raised to n minus 1 subtract the second one from the first one so s n minus r s n on the left side so s n minus r s n Sn minus Rsn on the left side equal to here you have A. So I'll write A here. Now AR minus AR will delete. AR square minus AR square will delete. AR cube minus AR cube will delete, etc. AR raised to n minus 1 and AR raised to n minus 1 will delete. So what is left here is minus a r raised to n. Hope you get me here a as it is written here. Then you have a r minus a r which you can cancel. a r square minus a r square which you can cancel. Then the next term here is a r cube. So a r cube and minus a r cube will cancel etc. Finally you have a r raised to n minus 1 here and minus a r raised to n minus 1 here so this both will delete will cancel and finally here you have a r raised to n in the second equation so this what is left is finally you have a in the first equation and a r raised to n in the second equation so you will when you subtract you will get a minus a r raised to n so on the left side Sn minus Rsn, you can take Sn as a common factor. So if you take Sn as a common factor, in place of Sn, you will get 1. And from here, when you take Sn as a common factor, you have minus R left there. So Sn into 1 minus R is equal to. Same here, if you take, you have A in both the terms. If you take A as a common factor, you will get 1 in place of a and a r raised to n when you remove a you will get r raised to n. Now to find s n divide both sides with 1 minus r because you got a 1 minus r along with s n here. So to remove this 1 minus r divide both sides with 1 minus r. So what will happen is that 1 minus r from the numerator and denominator will get cancelled on the left sides. So you'll get Sn is equal to a into 1 minus r raised to n. 
by 1 minus r. So this is the formula for finding Sn for a geometric series.